Hello there, people of the internet. Welcome back to another reaction video. Today, we're reacting to the Tanji virus, the complete analog horror saga by Vintage 8. Now, this intro comes after I've actually watched this. I think it's a better idea for me to watch the thing first, then do an intro, so you guys really know what you're in for. This, by far, is definitely the, one of the most unique analog horrors, okay? It's a little bit slow in places, but it makes up for it with, like, the, the non-fiction mixed with fiction and... I don't know if it's based on reality or not, um, if the, what the events you'll see were based on a real thing, but it definitely is really well blended in together. And you guys should definitely go check out Vintage 8, go support them. And we're going to go jump straight into this now. Tape 1, Unidentified Disease, Researcher, Take one. Dr. Julia Williams, Station, Kate's Crossing Health Unit, date, the 8th of August, 1988. Okay. Report. Several cases of an unidentified infection have been reported in several parish residents. Patients okay. were reported to have been swimming in the Tick Four River prior to symptoms. Ooh, okay. So something to do with the, the water. notes. Blood samples have been ordered from each patient. Water samples were taken from three key areas of the river. Okay. Sample uh, one, outside Lake Poncha Train. Poncha Train. Okay, so there's something in the water that's causing this virus. It doesn't look like there's anything there. Where is this again? Did they say at the start? So my guess is there's definitely some kind of creature in the water, maybe. Or maybe it's like a... Ooh! How that was that? Three, North Parish. North Parish. Or maybe it's like a some kind of organization that's poisoned the water or something. I like Results the simplicity. Are in seven to eight business days. A follow-up to this entry will be made shortly after. Okay. Tape two, inconclusive. Researcher, Dr. Julia Williams. Station, oh. Kate's Crossing Health Unit. Date, the 18th of August, 19... Is that a Scottish accent? 88. Report, low levels of aluminum and copper were discovered. Neither should have... Who, what? Aluminium? Aluminum? I guess it's Amer it's got to be American. Surely. Reduce the symptoms found in patients. Blood work yielded negative results. Common pathogens consistent with symptoms were not present. Okay. Additional notes. Many of the patient's symptoms have improved. Several, however, have worsened by developing meningitis. Oh, 28 new patients have been admitted, all with initial symptoms of a cheap throat, skin rash, irritated eyes, nausea, and diarrhea. That sounds I like a pain. They're dealing with something viral. Yeah. Patient that... one, infant condition, asymptomatic. Okay. So you shown no signs patient of symptoms. Two, adult condition, deceased. Oh my God! Let me just quickly search up. Uh, meningitis. Meningitis is inflammation of the lining around your brain and spinal cord. It can be very serious if not treated quickly. Symptoms of meningitis include being sick, a headache, a stiff neck, and a dislike of bright lights. You may sometimes get a rash. Meningitis is usually treated with antibiotics in hospital. Treatment should start as soon as possible. Patient 3. Child. Condition. Stable. Okay. It's like a generational thing almost. Patient four, adult, condition, stable, lost child. Oh no, that's not good. Oh, that's um... What is this footage? Why is it... The footage itself is so eerie. I don't know why. It's just a doctor doing their job, but it just seems so sinister. Autopsy results. Patient two, tumor found near spine. More tests need to be conducted on surviving patients. Okay, so I can understand why they think it's meningitis. Well, you know. Tape 3, unknown pathogen identified, researcher, Dr. Julia Williams, station, Kate's Crossing Health Unit, date, the 5th of November, 1988. Okay. Report, I believe to have discovered a new pathogen in the waterways near Kate's Crossing. It was also found in the blood work of our patients. We are nicknaming the disease, the Tangi virus. The Tangi virus. Report continued, the parish government has been notified. Blood samples, water samples, and biopsies have been sent to the CDC. Okay. It must be such a pain when, you, when a new strand or just a new virus entirely comes out. Obviously, we know with coronavirus, like the, the research and stuff that goes into it, and it must be so stressful. Okay, so they're taking dirty water. 
and testing it. Reminds me of Dexter. You know, when he has those, like, little uh, slides of blood for each person he's killed. Jeez, this, this feels super realistic, doesn't it? Uh Is that thing eating other... What's happening? It's like freaking agaria. Piracy results. The tumour yielded a strange and frightening discovery. They were filled with aggressive worm-like organisms. Oh, damn. As impossible as this may seem, but it appears the organisms are being birthed from the virus. Almost oh like they are being hatched. That is... disgusting. Ugh! So these worms are being spawned in. Results. Further tests are needed. Yeah, you know. Additional say. thoughts. The idea of discovering a new virus is both terrifying and exciting. I'm just wow. glad we identified the pathogen before it had a chance to spread. Okay. So identifying the pathogen Take can four. help you Cause know how to treat it. Share. Doctor Julia Williams, Station Kate's Crossing Health Unit. Date the seventh of January, nineteen eighty nine. Report. My supervisor has informed me that the CDC is still processing the samples sent two months ago. An really? official statement should be coming soon. However, he was assured that the pathogen in question was not a serious threat. I find this shocking considering what I have found in my own research. What? Sorry, the virus when? initially what? reproduces an elytic cycle. However, in time, it undergoes a type of metamorphosis. Oh. So it transforms into other things. Like. From what I can observe, the viral stage seems to be its immature form. Once the worm-like parasites emerge, they immediately seem to gravitate toward the brain and nervous systems. Oh, man. Survivors show negative results for Tangi virus. However, I am wondering what might be going on in their head. Oh. Head is the only way to detect the secondary infection may be an autopsy. I oh. believe it may be in their best interests if I contact the CDC myself. The CDC hasn't received our samples. When confront as to why... This feels like... The, the difference with this analog horror is it's a medical analog horror, kind of, obviously. And it just feels, like, real. Like it could be real. And the way it's presented is definitely, like... The familiarity of it and the, the possibility of it being a real thing is what makes this so unnerving to watch, I guess. Claims that another parish confirmed that the pathogen to be Giardia. I find this to be not only outrageous view in name. Why would he lie about sending the samples to the CDC? And Giardia, a great schooler wouldn't confuse Giardia with the Tangier virus. I don't even know what Giardia is, so I I'll get confused and I'm a 28 year old man. Tip 5. Tipping point. Researcher, Dr. Julia Williams. Station, Tipping point. Kate's Crossing Health Unit. Date, with Benjamin Shepard. April, 1989. Okay, do you want to go for level Report. one, two, or three, or four? Despite my repeated warnings, the parish government is promoting its waterways to its citizens and surrounding parishes. Promoting Apparently, its waterways? That's what? why the CDC was not alerted. The riverways are big money, and no one in the administration wants a potentially deadly disease scaring the tourists. Oh, wow, okay. So that's just, that is just typical, isn't it? Putting like human lives secondary to money is just such a corrupt government thing to do. Typical government bureaucracy. Yeah. I fear this could be ground zero for a major outbreak and not a Giardia. That's not. Oh god, is this a promotion for frickin' the parish? Return to the Tangifable tang Waterways. So, what is it? Like a. You go fishing there or a message from your local government? Wow, However, so they The potential pandemic isn't the most concerning piece of news that I've received. Patient for brutal, he killed her husband with her bare hands. Wow, okay. Why? She kidnapped patient one after also murdering the child's parents. Okay, this just took a sinister turn. Okay, so patient four was the one that lost her child, like, due to this virus. So she obviously went mad, killed her husband, killed the parents, and took the baby. That is mad. Patient 3 also violently attacked his parents. Okay, so it's definitely something to do with the brain thing. This thing is making people violent. So this worm, I'm guessing, if it gets to the brain, it kind of... It's like zombies, like uh, 28 Days Later. Not like brain-eating zombies, but you know, like, the, the type of zombies who are just enraged all the time and, like, beating people up. I think that 
it's kind of like this. It's doing something to the brain, like rabies almost, where it just transforms you. The three were last spotted in the waterways near Kate's Crossing. Damn. In addition, several people have been reported to have gone missing on the river. I am convinced it is all connected. Oh, for sure it's all connected. Something major's going on. Deep six, bad to worse, researcher, Dr. Julia Williams, station, Kate's Crossing Health Unit, date, the 18th of October, 1989. Oh. Report. The summer went exactly as I figured. More sick, most get better quickly, which means no one cares about the possible secondary infection. I can't imagine. It's like a it's like a Trojan horse in virus a virus almost. Like the, the, they they think it will just go away and it kind of does, but then inside that thing spawns something even worse that turns them violent. Allow this to continue. Despite <clears throat> with everyone in my department, no one will listen to my concerns. I feel so sorry for scientists when it comes to like governments and stuff because the scientists know what they're talking about and they know like this is what we need to do if we're to have any chance of curing this and the government's like we but I want to go golfing in Spain honey how am I meant to do that if you make me go over here you know what I mean I feel so sorry for them they must be so stressed out all the time like then they get the blame for it well technically they don't what well, depends? It really does depend, I'm doesn't it? I live outside of this parish. Now, they are building a landfill near the river. The rumour in the town is they are covering something up. Ooh. Some say it's a spaceship. Or a monster of some sorts. This got interesting. It's mixing, mixing like, medical science with supernatural. But I don't have time for that nonsense. I think it's time I threatened to go to the press. Yes, I do it. Him, and I was terminated, effective immediately. Wow. However, when I returned to my office, I found a tape on my desk. There was a note that simply said, Lab 8, come at night. The following was recovered from a missing person's case. What? Hang on. Oh, wow, okay. Oh, this feels... So what, this was a, a person who's gone missing. And this was the footage they captured. So they, I think they'll go night fishing probably, from the looks of things. Yeah. Ugh. Is that a crocodile? Or is it an alligator? I think it's an yeah, alligator, right? Uh God, those things, I mean, listen, I don't know why, but the crocodile slash alligators, they terrify me. And I should have no reason to be terrified of them because I live nowhere near them. But just the thought of, like, being out on a, like a, like a river like this or something, or like a, just a, a body of water, and knowing, I guess it's a, like a, like a sub-phobia of thalassophobia, just knowing that, like, this thing's lurking underneath or whatever and could just potentially grab onto you and death roll you i mean oh oh i remember playing red dead 2 and that was enough to freaking terrify me like my blood went cold i got goosebumps playing that game when you have to like go through a swamp it was it was oh man what the hell was that oh this might be extraterrestrial based on what i've seen on this tape i will return tonight Return where? Alien researcher. Doctor oh, nice. Julia Williams. Station. Kate's Crossing Health Unit. Date: the 18th of October, 1989. Continued. Report: I was shocked to find my supervisor and his assistant were the ones who left the tape. Wow. Apparently, they have been trying to figure out who they can trust with the current threat. They believe most of the parish government has been infected. Oh, and that's why they're refusing. Okay, that makes sense. That's that's pretty cool. So they're telling that they've been infected and they're telling people so they're not telling people this thing inside them is telling people to go to the river or to, to explore the river and obviously the people who are going missing are the people that went along with that so that means there's something in the river that's taking these people regardless what they showed me in lab 8 was disturbing to say the least i'm interested 
The virus is sentient. It doesn't want to just spread. It wants control. There we go. So getting into government, I guess, is priority number one. Get into the heads of people with power. From what we can observe, the worms spread throughout the body's nervous system, so they can override the host when needed. The tumor acts as a second brain. Oh, this is real footage, isn't it? Of like, um, I don't know if I can show this. Yeah, I'm not showing According that, guys. According to the data I'm... he's seen, most will simply succumb to the virus, lose control, a small portion will perish, the Whoa. remaining will mutate into giant amphibious creatures. Uh. We went to my supervisor's, Jim's home. He and Jay spent hours telling me how the local government is planning to introduce the virus to the water and food supplies. Oh, wow. We discussed plans of how to go public over a bottle of wine. Alien invasion by way of viral infection is frightening, but I must admit, it feels good to no longer feel alone. Okay, so that's... Wow, I didn't really think about it like that. Because uh, when you think of, like, an alien invasion, you think of them coming from the sky and freaking firing laser beams down or whatever and taking control that way. But the thought of them doing it through biology is crazy to think about. It feels more realistic in a way, Keep doesn't it? it? The end or the beginning. Personal journal. Dr. Julia Williams. Date. The 19th of October, 1989. Thoughts, I must have passed out, because when I woke up, I was alone. Jim left me a note. It said two things. Welcome to the family and see you back at work in two weeks. Okay. Fired and rehired in 24 hours. Must be some kind of record. What? Then I guess the real battle begins. Last night, Jim seemed pretty confident that we will be able to get both the CDC and military involved. Uh, I don't know. November, 1989. Back to work and back to war. I'm feeling under the weather, but Jim and I have a big meeting today. Time to discuss the future. God, she hasn't been infected, has she? God, Jim wasn't him today, but he left the bottle of wine that we shared two weeks ago. It had instructions to analyse. So oh, no. Asked. It does it... Oh. oh, God. I am infected with the Tanji virus. Oh, why is the voice doing that? I immediately left. As I drove away, the staff at the entire building followed me to the parking lot and watched me as I drove away. They were all smiling. How can I be so... No way. So this whole supervisor and assistant thing was a scheme to get her to drink the wine. But did they drink the same wine, though? Because they would also... Unless the people... They were legit, the supervisor and the assistant... But someone higher up knew about what they were planning to do and decided to poison? Ad Vulnerable. That's crazy. The 5th of February, 1990. I'm working in a veterinarian's office. I've been poisoning my body with anti-parasite drugs and chemotherapy meant for dogs. Wow. I'm 40 pounds underweight, bald. My mouth is covered in sores, but I've kept the disease from overtaking me. But I'm just buying time until I can figure out how to cure this thing. Oh, that sounds horrible. The 23rd of April, 1990. I can feel them scratching at my skull. The drugs aren't as effective anymore. Uh. My fingers are spasming. My eyes are twitching. I am dying. Oh my god. The 5th of May, 1990. I've been having the strangest dreams. I've been thinking about Ireland, France, moving to the States for med school. The 15th of June, 1990. I miss my mom and dad. There's so much I wanted to do. I wanted to meet someone. Okay, Grow so old, she's still herself. Now I'll never do anything. Wow. The 27th of August, 1990. I can hear them now. They want me to consider them my children. I consider them a plague. What? Yeah. The 21st of September, 1990. I lost my job at the vet's office. My memory isn't what it used to be. I'm mailing these tapes to the FPTV cable station, the council too. Maybe they can use what I learned to save us. Oh, the I don't think they're gonna. I'm ending things tonight. If anyone watching this wants to know my last words, there. Boil anything you drink, it kills the virus. Boil anything you drink, it kills the virus. After the old FPTV building was torn down, hundreds of old VHS tapes needed to be digitized and catalogued. Most of it seems mundane, but on 12th, 3rd, 90, a mysterious message appeared in the channel's nightly ad section. It appeared only once. This is like that Archive 81. Advertising on the FPTV. Reader board is easy. 419-8437.
uh, fruit trees, uh, gift certificates. Merry Christmas from FPTV. Announce your child's birth. I remember that, man. Back in the early 2000s, there used to be those music channels and you used to text in, like, with a photo or something. I think it was Stars TV or something. I forgot what it was. But, like, you'd get a picture of everyone and, like, or you and your friends and you'd message him being, oh, we're here tonight having a good time. And then your picture will appear on the channel. I don't think that really happens anymore. Sell your car. Don't trust your government, they have sold you out. They have sold you out. Wow. Right. Happy holidays from Tagi Pahau Economic Development Fund. Three days later, an ill-timed boil advisory appeared during a pre-recorded newscast. What do you mean, a boil advisory? Oh, as in, like, boiled your water. But yeah, that makes sense. But I don't understand that. Boiling the water, yeah, it gets rid of, the, like, anything in it, I guess. But then it's like it never tastes the same. It's just normal cold water. I mean, obviously, you let it cool down, but I don't, I don't know. There's something about boiling water that changes the taste of it. Yeah. By working with the property owners and other concerned groups throughout the parish, we have made great strides in cleaning the river such as this. The Nittobany River is a big concern of ours. By having the landfill nearby, it does create a possible uh, is this image real? of polluting that river. But I can assure you, we at the landfill are making every effort that we possibly can to see. You sound, yeah, you sound really confident about that. The landfill does not pollute any river, any stream, any body of water uh, throughout this parish. And I am... Boil water advisory in effect. <laughs> a horrible time to put that in. Listen, there's nothing wrong with the water, okay? I can go right over here and drink it myself. Watch. Very, very adamant about the personnel at the landfill. They have orders that if they have any type of activity out there that might be damaging to any stream that they're to report it to me and, and uh, the proper authorities immediately. Yeah, I'm sure. We have formed this committee and the committee... Could you not get like a person who's a little bit more convincing going, than this? going to be very... L listen, th there's definitely not a, a virus in the water. I, I promise you. Uh, 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 just stop. Active ...to monitor the, the activities at the landfill and to see that if there is a uh, problem on the Natobany River, that we can address it. And if it is a, a problem that can be solved or created by the landfill itself, it will be handled and handled properly. Okay, mate. Brilliant. The music just sells it. Sounds like an old racing car soundtrack. Boiling water saves life, 15 second spot. Instructions for immediate play at top. So who's doing this then? Is this like a... Because a, a, obviously the government, I don't know, want people to go there. So who's making this message? Within a week of the boil advisory, the parish was gripped in an environmental disaster. Please visit the health unit if you have any of the following ailments. Itchy throat, skin rash, irritated eyes, vomiting nausea, diarrhea, blood in urine or stool. Within a few days, the boil advisory was dropped with no warning or news coverage. Just a strange 15 second spot. Drinking water says last 15 second spots. For immediate play, at top and bottom of every hour. Boil advisory lifted. Yeah, there's something dodgy going on here. So whoever it was that wanted people to boil was on the good side. And now the boil advisory being lifted. Obviously, the, the virus itself has got into these people's heads. and like, yeah, it's all good. They, they're convinced it's all good. Drink water. A message from your local government. That makes me feel sick. Knowing that there's like... Okay, over the next three months, the parish government employed an aggressive pro-drinking water campaign. You don't have to do that. Despite the continuous pro-water drinking ads, 
Tangapaha Parish seems to be getting back to normal. Okay. Advertise on the readable is easy. Yeah, okay. It's just another pro drinking drink water mess from your local government. Why do you need to specify that? I mean, when you say when you say that to me, I'm thinking, hang on, why? What have you done? I drink water anyway. Why do you need me to? Why do you need to tell me this? What's happening? Biohazard warning: Unknown substance detected in the water. Do not drink the water. Ugh. Do not bathe in the water. Do not give to pets. Boiling is not enough. Water could be highly toxic. Something so what are you meant to do? Is in the water. The sick are no longer human. Oh. Stay human. Don't drink the water. Stay human. Don't drink the water. Man, imagine getting that advertised to you. You're just there trying to watch whatever the hell this is. And then you get a freaking... According to those living in the parish at the time, panic followed this message's broadcast. Yeah, I can imagine. That's what I was just saying. Anti-water messages began to appear during random broadcasts. This is so... This is various to purchase bottled water. One case per individual... Wow, so this is like freaking COVID all over again. Is it like COVID? Yeah, because people are just buying up water and all sorts. Do not take water from the health unit. It has been tainted. So the, the people who have made this have like, they've mixed in like old footage of things happening in a certain town. Or did something like this actually happen where there was something like, you know, they had to stop drinking water. Within days of the warning, parish officials began working around the clock at the landfill. What they were doing was never disclosed to the public. So they're covering something up. But what? What are they covering up? I think about this time period with filming just freaks me out. I don't know why. It's so, so weird. Like if this was shot on like a, like a high quality camera, I wouldn't feel as bad. But I don't know. It's just like the, the blurriness and the pixelation and the, the, just the, I don't know, it's creepy. Ask yourselves, what are they covering up? Well, that's what I was asking. The following video played 24 seven for one week. Notice of evacuation, take highway 22, I-55 or I-12 and leave the parish. Wow. Do not step, stop for law enforcement until you are outside the parish. Because I'm guessing the whole freaking until it abruptly stopped. Right, I'm guessing uh, the whole, like, county or whatever has basically been infected by this thing now. And you can't trust anybody. FPTV is under new ownership. Boil advisory lifted. Yeah, definitely the- whatever this virus is has taken over the freaking government. Nothing was ever said of the odd event ever again. Most consider it a joke. A few think it was something more sinister. We will probably never know. Update. I don't know how to say this. Tango Pahau government has asked me to remove the videos. I'm not sure how long they'll remain up. Yeah, I'm not surprised. They're covering something up. In the late 90s, an unnamed storm settled over southeast Louisiana. Flash floods occurred without warning. Most of the population was trapped when the... Oh my god, it overflowed. The area was devastated, but the town of Cates Crossing was perhaps hit the hardest. The fire department sent volunteers to evacuate its citizens. So this is like the river with all this crap in. Despite their best efforts, the bodies of over 200 people were never found. That is crazy. Most blame the rising rivers, but some say it was something else. The men and women serving that day still don't speak of the Great Flood. This tape is the only first-hand account of that event. To think that that water contained this freaking thing as well. Gary, That's spooky. What's your ETA? Five minutes, give or take. Copy that. Back when you get on scene. Roger that. Over now. Molly, come in. Go ahead. I'm at the old church and there's nobody here. You at the old Baptist? Looking right at it. And it's him. Somebody must have beat you to it. Look, we got an elderly couple southbound. Can you do it? Then four, I'm on it. Huh. Okay, so this is the first-hand account of this flood that happened, and they're trying to find people. Molly, I'm at the back of the Collins, boy. No one's here, 
There's no way someone else evacuated 30 people. Have you heard anything from HQ? That's a negative. Try again. What the oh. hell was that? Sorry, trying to get some caffeine. Oh, that sounded horrible. Oh, I, I heard something. Wouldn't worry about it. Probably just an animal. The other guy said they've been hearing all sorts of stuff. So these freaking well, crook dolls. Um, start making my way back to you, okay? Gary, come in. How close are you to North Street? Mm, about a block away. About a block away. in need of medical. She has lacerations on her right arm. Says she was attacked by a monster in the middle of evacuation. Wow. What? I don't know. Probably was a snake or gator. Hold on. Gary, I'm gonna have to let you go. <laughs> Some kind of emergency in the front office. Oh my god. Like to bring out the best in people. Yeah. Why are you not... Well, I guess you can't really panic when you're a police officer. But these monsters are loose. So this storm has basically loosened these things into the Molly, public. Yeah, there's no one here, but something doesn't seem right. Molly, you there? Oh god, Molly's dead. Molly. Come in, please. Did the monster manage to get in? Jesus Christ, that <laughs> sounds close. <laughs> yeah, you don't say. <laughs> it's time to go, mate. Good lord! Oh, now he's in the water. This is very well done, though. Right, Lieutenant Gary Davis was never found. But his camera was. During the cleanup, rumors of monsters in the water circulated throughout the community. However, the parish government quickly squashed those rumors. Because they're not the government! They're lizard people! We were able to enact some Pure Waters Act uh, 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 ordinances that helped clean up some of the waste, the household waste that was going into our river. And I guess we probably have the cleanest river, the Tangipahoe Parish. Uh, the Tangipahoe River is the cleanest river in the state. But yet, we are the only state that's still labeled as being polluted and you can't swim or fish or tube. Is this real? Boil advisory lifted. People to this day go missing on the Tangipahoe River. Come visit Tangipahoe. I don't we think I want to. We come visit the best kept secret in Louisiana, Tangipahoe Parish. Business is booming, restaurants have reopened, miles of waterways are ready for you to enjoy. Every weekend, there's something fun to do in our little parish. Since wow. Since the great flood, we have rebuilt our community into the perfect place to raise your family. So come sure. and visit your friends in Tangipahoe Parish. You might even find you'll never want to leave, but if you do, We'll be happy to send a piece of our community home with you. Oh, I can imagine you will. We here in Tangible Parish are proud to announce. So they're basically what what what's happening here is that they're encouraging people from all over the country to come and visit, so that they can spread this virus all over. Angie Water will be available in every major supermarket in America. Oh my God! Really? <laughs> And who knows, maybe soon, people all over the world might get a chance to enjoy a cool, refreshing taste of tangy water. Oh, that is terrifying. Tangy water. It'll change you. Yeah, you don't say. Wow. Okay. Well, that was... There are parts of that, I won't lie, guys, it felt like, I don't know, uncomfortable to watch. And it wasn't even like the, the bits about like freaking, you know, um, the virus or whatever. It's just, just the old footage. I don't know why. It just it makes me feel uncomfortable. I have no idea why. But that there we go, guys. That was the Tangi virus. The complete analog horror saga. That was definitely 
just different to any analog horror that I've watched for sure. Because I, I, I don't know if that was based on real events of like something actually being inside of water in this place. And, you know, the, temporarily having to lift, like, I don't know, do a ban on drinking water. I don't know. But what, what how the way they've blended the two together of, like, this virus and this, you know, event that may or may not have actually happened is insane. And I really enjoy it when people do that. It's it's really good. For example, like, Patariku with the uh, They Lie Above with Neil Armstrong, you know, going to the moon. Just just blending, like, and Alex Kansas, obviously, blending fiction with, like, non-fiction. It's called unfiction, I believe. But, yeah, really, really good. Really enjoyed it. But, yeah, go subscribe, guys, to Vintage 8. Go like the video, all that good stuff. The, the, the link will be in the description down below. Thank you guys so much for watching and supporting me, and I will see you guys in the next video. Take care.